Now, of course, if uh, mixed martial arts and sports puts a big smile on Graham's face, then you know what puts a big smile on my face? A great vocal. And today we have that. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Oberholz is in the studio. Yes, 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 yes. Um, he's our guest star today and he'll be performing for us later. We cannot wait to hear him sing. But before we do that, we found a great way of getting to know people uh, better. In 60 seconds, quick questions. You've got to answer the first thing that comes to your mind. Brandon, are you ready? Yes. Start the clock. Here we go. What's your most used emoji? The one with the sunglasses. <laughs> Beyonce or Adele? Adele. The 60s or the 90s? 60s. Are you always early or always late? Early. Meghan Markle or Kate Middleton? Markle. <laughs> Spring or autumn? Spring. Your best karaoke song? Your man Josh Turner. <laughs> Do you like your toilet roll over or under? Over. Bananas on your pizza or no? Yes. Movies with subtitles or audiobooks? Uh, subtitles. The last album you bought? Ilandre Schwartz. Your, <laughs> your favorite color? Black. Prince William or Prince Harry? Harry. Are you a morning person or night owl? Morning. Your favorite word? Away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Your alarm goes off. Do you snooze or get up? I snooze and then get up. <laughs> <laughs> John Travolta or Patrick Swayze? <laughs> Patrick Swayze. Peanut butter, crunchy or smooth? Peanut butter. Cats or dogs? Dog. Oh yes, you're a dog person. Oh, that was good. That was very, very good. That was very good. Nice to, nice to meet you. Nice to get to know you. Uh, and nice to have heard your, your sound check this morning. I, I said to you earlier on, as soon as you started singing, everyone turned their attention to you. It was like mere, a mere seconds before we started um, the show. But a lot of people don't know your story in the music industry. Where did it all start for you, and how did you come about this incredible voice? I always had a love for music. When I was little, I had to listen to my mom's Walkman, all these old country and Steve Wolfmeyer tapes and all. I used to listen. And halfway to Namibia, I had to change the batteries. So it was always a funny story. <laughs> um, and then I started watching the series Nashville. And I always had the love for country. Yeah. Like, Yo, it looks so nice to be a famous country singer. I want to try that. And I just like played the songs from the um, series and I actually enjoyed playing guitar. I learned myself from YouTube and then I just enjoyed the feeling. Yeah, so country's definitely always been there as a genre. Yeah, country's always been there. I, I was trying to establish in how many different stages his voice must have broken to get to where it is now. Take, <laughs> take me through that time in your life. It was always like high and irritating. My friends hated it when I sang, so they, they didn't really like it. And I started like singing and it didn't sound nice. It was like high and then I got these false pictures all the time and <laughs> just suddenly I heard the song Your Man for the first time and I, my grandfather which, got which, like... Which, which song is that again? How does it go? Baby lock the door and turn the lights down low. That song. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, that's yeah. my vocals right there. Yeah, so then I heard that song and my grandfather's got like this karaoke set up at home and I asked him, can I sing? He's like, what? You want to sing? Like, I didn't sound good. And then when I sang, he was like that same reaction, like, what, where does that come from, so... That's incredible, man. Oh, wow. What a gift that you have, and we can't wait to hear more about it. And also, we'll be chatting about the fact that you can catch Brandon Oberdorzer live at uh, Grand West this coming Sunday at the Bakhat Country Opskop with some of the biggest names in the industry. Uh, name a few of them quickly. Ilandre, Rika Snell, Lilis Matron, Ray Dillon, Rocking Horse, and Tommy Dell. It's his 80th birthday. Oh, my word. Get all your tickets, and of course, stay tuned for a performance from this incredible man. <laughs>